Frank, where are we at? What are we doing? Going fishing. We're in the middle of Kansas. We're going down here to see our buddy Bob, Bob Moffat. If you don't know who Bob Moffat is, he's gonna teach me how to weld. So this will be fun. Well, so we're here. Uh, we're down here at Crowley College in uh, Arkansas City, Kansas. I brought Dustin down here with me. We're gonna walk in there here. Just now. I gotta grab my gear. We're gonna walk in there real quick and Bob's gonna teach me and Dustin how to weld. Yeah, so there's a cutout S. And Scott thinks it's for Superman or some crap, but we'll have to, I'm sure we'll have to paint that up today or something, you know. So uh, we're getting all set up here. Uh, Bob's gonna put on a school here for us today. So we're gonna cover some, we may not get as deep as we, uh, as we, just depends on how much time we got here, but uh, we're gonna start first off, we're gonna start with some cleanup. We're gonna do, uh, you know, take the mill scale off of a, piece of metal here just kind of show what's up with that um anyway we're getting gear set up and getting ready to go for it so what's this come show me this thing what is this <clears throat> and what, what are you going to do to it this s yeah <clears throat> s means scott or super oh wow or super scott or something anyway so this has been plasma cut and there's a little bit of dross on there it's a really nice cut it's got some bevel to it but it's a really nice cut and uh, as far as like dross and stuff. <clears throat> but anyway, we're gonna pull this mill scale off of it. Bob's gonna show us this cool uh, special grinder disc thing that he's got, like a wheel, diamond wheel or something. So we'll see what it does. I don't know how to introduce her other than let's weld something. Yeah, uh, let's get uh, smoker it builders. We're always stumped by this mill scale thing. You know, how do you clean up edges and this surface here because you know, this plate I've been using and I've scratched layout lines on it. Looks like I've been doing some ciphering over there, some yeah. mathematics and stuff. We want to, we want to, we got a little gift here for the Superman Scott, the yeah, camera, camera guy. camera guy. Yep. Oh, camera guy. Got to take care of those guys. How do we get that mill scale off there? Generally, I would grab a flat disc and get to going on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. We've got, Do you know, if you look real damn close, you got a little plasma whisper on there. Uh, we've got discs, or I use a lot of pads like this when I'm getting into, especially aluminum, you get down into different grits and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're kind of nice, they don't bite so much, but what they do is they load up. Mm -hmm. That's what mill scale, that's what mill scale's always infuriated me. So a flapper disc, we could try wire wheels. If you just grabbed a grinder, what are we gonna do with a grinder? Yeah, we're gonna dig into it. Well, Scott, the camera guy, he doesn't want his Superman <laughs> Scott, he doesn't want that gouged into. You paint it and you're gonna see it in the right light. It's gonna look like somebody gouged into it. So we want to avoid that. So we'll start out over here. kind of got right there but yeah you're starting I'm to just sitting there floating on top of yeah. it mm -hmm. and I don't want to gouge into it either I mean mm -hmm. I could I could get I could get impatient and the first thing we do is raise this thing up mm -hmm. that's not necessarily a cool thing to do let's try the cup brush let's try the wire wheel so let's do this wheel here up on edge it would do probably better than a, a cup brush so we try this Same thing, it's just yeah. sitting there floating. Floating on top. Yeah. They're not really picking and doing anything yet. We're growing we're growing diamonds on stainless wire. This is industrial grade diamonds. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you guys take a peek at that. I'm gonna go grab my face shield over here, my pocket mm -hmm. mask. And there is a correct way. I don't like getting them bound up. If you get these in the right situation and you get a grinder and you can turn the speed way down, mm -hmm. that's when they work the best. Mm -hmm. Seriously, you can feel it, you can see it. And so what happens is, uh, 
That's a lot lower. Yeah. That's that, that speeded up to normal, yeah. But if we slow this way down. There you go. Wow. And I actually spent a little more time on that than I normally would. I mean, that's awesome. But what it does is picks it off. But it's not a it's not an impact type. I'm not gonna gouge you, I'm not gonna hurt you. Yeah, it's just it's just barely just taking that mill scale off. Hey, check this out. If you get these cores wound up in <laughs> uh, so we can take something like this. And I, I like to turn these down too. Yep. Let's go ahead and do the rest of it for him. Mm -hmm. One side. Super scale. And do the other side for mm -hmm. him. What's he gonna, is he gonna hang it on the wall or something? Maybe. Put on my See, desk. okay, I wanna get this off of here. <laughs> yeah. You know, so that right there, that right there I would do, I would do like this. Hand me the wire wheel. You're cleaning up some dross on the back. Yeah, a couple of ways that I do dross is, uh, uh, you can either peck at it, and it falls right off, or believe it or not, I've taken these out of the plasma cutter and held them up here and and let them hit the floor. Mm -hmm. And when they hit just right, that it just yeah, vibrates. It just falls flies off, off there. Slam it on or tap it on the table. Uh, hit it with a file. But here's what here's a big no-no. Let's say you got a big old chunk on there and you go grinding on top of it. It, mm -hmm. For some reason now, it's like activated the glue on the end. It stays there forever, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. It's hard to get off, and I, so it's aggravating. But I would come over here and just lightly clean this thing off. Uh, Backside, we primer, we leave it alone. At least it doesn't have a bunch of stuff. But it's the front side that we're worried about. Because this rust right here, yep. man, you, I mean, you can paint, paint, you'll, you'll feel wool. You're not gonna get that stuff. It's always gonna kind of bleed through your paint. So yep. I come over here with this light pressure. Here's another thing I'd do, do it there. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of stainless and aluminum. Like if this was, let's say this was out of aluminum. Mm -hmm. I put a unique pattern in there like this. I can turn this down too. But. can't duplicate it. Mm -hmm. It's one off. Yep. You know. Got the camera guy is the only one that has one. But yeah, it gathers and reflects light. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I like it. It's unique. I don't do it so much. I can do it on carbon steel or do it on carbon steel, but you would uh, I'd probably clear coat it afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Another thing we can do, you know what? Mm -hmm. You know what? The guy's over here begging for copper. I'm gonna give him copper. Check this out. <laughs> Show me what we got so far. So we put a texture in there. Now he's going to do a science experiment. Show you better. Wow. She's going to show you better living through chemistry. Well, All right. Uh, <laughs> what's that say on there? 
This is copper, copper. doesn't it? You yeah. want copper color, don't you? Yeah. All right. Mind your business. You won't be minding mine. There. <laughs> uh, check this out. We're going to make it rust instantly. You like it like that? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Well, let's get the clear coat out. Camera guy will like that, huh? Mm -hmm. I think so. There you go. So there you go, Scott. You like your little S? Yeah. It's cool. glossy. Yeah. It's got awesome. some tones in there. If you get it in the light. Yeah. It's got some cool stuff. So that's some creative, unique things you can do for uh, just some finish finish work on your cookers you know uh i like what bob was doing there with the with the air uh grinder there he was hitting it on the sides and stuff like that did some texture in there yeah well, i could see doing a whole cooker that way because we use it to yeah. knock the moss down in ponds and stuff and you yeah. <clears throat> know i never really used it either but it's almost got a holographic kind of a yeah thing to it there it's been mm -hmm. light but yeah that is cool 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 right, right on you bet. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate it. Got to take care of old Scott. Scott's in the house. <laughs>